Right guys, in today's video, I'll be covering a very funky custom ISO called Windows X Lite Neon Knights Pro or 11 Neon Knights Pro. I actually saw this on YouTube probably about two weeks ago and I was like, God damn, I have to give that custom ISO a try. But as you know, I've been doing a lot of driver comparisons as well as NVIDIA released a, a driver what, two, three days ago. So I've been caught up in videos, like minutia type videos that I had to get through. But this is something I wanted to test for quite some time. Before I get to my benchmark results, I compared my optimized Windows 10 versus the performance of Windows X Lite 11 Neon Knights Pro. But before I get to that, let's just go through and have a look at what is available on in this custom ISO. So first and foremost, um, when you load up this custom ISO, um, initially uh, the setup of Windows, once, it, once you've installed Windows, it's only gonna be about 4.6 gigs. So it's tiny, it's got a tiny little footprint. Uh, the RAM usage is probably gonna be on, if you've got 16 gigs, it's probably gonna be on about seven or eight percent. So the footprint of this custom ISO is tiny, especially if you compare it to a stock Windows 11. Um, so once we go into extras and info, these are just a couple of shortcuts and information about the build. So you have some guides and it will just tell you more uh, about Windows X Lite. I'm not going to get into that now. If you download this, you can have a look at that yourself. Um, yeah, automatic or by default Microsoft Store is disabled, so you can just go in here and just re enable Microsoft Store. Um, there's some registry tweaks, you know, like snap bar on and off, snap layouts on and off. Um, this is just some more info about Windows X Lite, and yeah, some, some browsers over here Chrome and Firefox. And something I find very funky is the preloaded wallpapers. It's actually the thing that got me kind of hooked in the first place when I saw the video. So as you can see, uh, I've got a very clean looking, you know, a nice little uh, background here, but slightly more um, involved probably would be Neon Fox. As you can see, that looks pretty awesome. Uh, but it's a little bit too busy for me. There's Neon Planet, which looks freaking sick. Uh, wait, what? There's Kali. Oh, I don't know what. I'm, I think I think she's called Kali. And then, yeah, let's just put it on Neon Nights. So as you can see, this little Apple or Mac inspired widget over here is very funky. Gives you a shortcut to your recycle bin. Gives you a shortcut to um, a file explorer and icons and file explorer and the transparency. Just look very, very funky. I could really seriously get used to this custom ISO very quickly. Um, a shortcut to downloads. Shortcut to extras and info. Shortcut to my documents. Shortcut to your videos. Shortcut to your pictures and then lastly shortcut to your music. Obviously I've just loaded this and I'm just doing this for the purposes of this video so I don't have any music here. And then lastly before I get to the performance, uh, I will in the in the description of the video I will put a link to the Windows X uh, Windows 11 X Lite Neon Knights Pro video. If you do want to download this custom ISO, you just go to uh, you just go to the description. Just click on this HTTPS ko-fi.com. Follow that link. Close this all, and then that's going to bring you to the Windows X Lite Neon Knights Pro is now live. And then you just go to the Windows X Lite website, and then from there, Windows 11 builds. And then it would be over here. So then you just go ahead and click on download. And then boom, when the, when the uh, download link here. And it's only a 2.6 gig uh, ISO, so it is fairly light. And I'm gonna stress one more time, I'll put these links in the description of my video. 
it is a super light a super light customizer and it looks incredible and it's got great performance before i get to the performance i have to address one thing um i did go a little bit crazy with my own optimizations after i installed this custom iso so i think i actually disabled one thing a little bit too much so as you can see um my cpu usage is quite high because i think i disabled something and intos you know where is it the intos kernel over here is running consistently so um it does take a while to disable this but it's not something i think you guys will be sitting with the reason i am bringing this up is because i wanted to push out this video and i didn't have patience to actually go and disable intos kernel but you can see uh, even with the cpu usage quite high because i disabled uh one too many things in services the performance compared to my my optimized windows 10 is neck on neck so you can see if you don't have intos kernel running in the background if you're not losing 10 to 20 percent of your cpu functionality windows x neon ultimate would be kicking my custom uh, optimized windows 10 bolt so guys i really highly do recommend this if you do want to try a very good looking funky fresh looking fantastic performing customizer can't recommend this enough so just to go through my results here quickly um i didn't test all the games on my laptop i ran out of patience so i just benchmarked 12 games on my Windows 10 optimized build, the one that I use for YouTube, um, against this custom ISO that I installed. And as you can see, when I add up for Windows X Lite 11 Neon Ultimate, when I add up all the average FPSs over 12 games, my total FPS is 896 divided by 12. So my average FPS per game is 74.67. And when I compare that, uh, when I do the same process with my Windows 10 optimized, you can see it's one and a quarter FPS higher on average than my regular version of Windows 10. And that's with Intos kernel running in the background, stealing CPU resources. So you can see if that wasn't running in the background, Windows X Lite would crush my Windows 10 optimized. Um, and then when I do the same thing for the 1% lows, add up all the 1% lows, my total 1% lows over 12 games is 614 compared to my Windows 10 Optimized, which is 615. But bear in mind, that's when my Windows is running optimally. This one has Intos kernel running in the background, stealing anywhere between 10 to 25% of the CPU power. So you could probably see this go quite up a, a quite up a, quite high or go up quite a bit higher if uh, the intos kernel wasn't running in the background so the average one percent low per game was 51.17 uh, which is fantastic if you consider that intos kernel was running in the background it just shows you that the performance on this custom iso is rock solid Sorry, I have made a bit of a meal of the last bit of this video. But guys, if you want a, a very good looking custom ISO with fantastic performance that looks very funky, it's got some really cool little widgets and fantastic looking little icons, go ahead, click in the description of my video. There will be links to this custom ISO. Enjoy guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section and for those of you that are still watching and you haven't subscribed now is the time to do so have a fantastic weekend it's people like you cheers